welcome 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 back to my channel if you've already been here before and welcome to the newcomers my name is jabrielle but you can call me the moon minister as well i am a licensed spiritual minister and my ministry revolves around astrology honoring my ancestors the moon this world around us and preaching and teaching about just how connected we are and using astrology to show and prove those connections. I am also an author. I have a manifestation guide as well as spiritual children's books, notebooks, journals, diaries, all that. I have it on my Amazon page down below. Um, and yeah, that's a little bit about me. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the new moon in Leo that is also going to be at the 12th degree, which is a Pisces degree. This is going to be happening on August the 4th. So during this time, not only will the sun be in Leo, but the new moon will also be in Leo. This will be a fiery new charge time. New moons are already a time for sprouting the seed or for planting the seed, watching it sprout, for starting new things, taking action, setting intention, as well as new beginnings and new endings as well. And mix it together with that 12th degree of Pisces along with this fire, fire, double fire, I should say, with the moon and the sun, you get the energy of lustful pride, lust overall, flirtatious energy, taking risk, being risky, taking that gamble, having pride, loyalty, leadership skills, having the ambition to start something new or to take on something, having the strength to take on something that is beyond you, having the strength to begin something new, as well as the pride to be able to begin something new or having the pride to continue to keep going. Luscious beginnings around things that deal with money, relationships, love, beauty, letting go of things you cannot control, taking charge in things that you can control, having sparks of creativity, creative new ideas, creative new epiphanies. And overall, what are you willing to do to strive for the things that you want? This requires a lot of rethinking and rethinking is gonna be a huge topic for that day as well because Mercury will begin retrograding in the sign of Virgo, which is a sign known to plan, to get things right, to be grounded, to have things structured and organized. So this will definitely be a time for rethinking, reorganizing, getting structured, having the strength to do these things as well, having the pride, having the passion to, these, to do these things as well. And if you don't already know, retrogrades are a time to rethink, rewire, to slow down, be patient, do things over again, and go over things thoroughly, especially things that pertain to the mind, to the way we think, in our styles of communication. You may have old phone calls or old emails things that uh, get to us via locally redoing those type of things over again, rethinking those type of things over again, or something from the past comes back pertaining those type of things. If you have any Virgo placements around four degrees, you will especially be feeling this retrograde the most in your top three, that's your sun, moon, and so, rising. So with that being said, let's get into the all signs. Now, when I'm talking about the all all the zodiac signs, I recommend you listen for your sun, which is how the public is perceiving you. It could also represent your father, father figures. It could represent your ego and just overall your playing field or your um, overall character that you were given. Um, 
I'll recommend listening out for your rising sign. That is your soul sign, how your soul came to experience it. That's how you are pertaining, how you, um, the sun may be the character, the person, the, the body, but the rising sign is your soul ascension, how you truly feel and what you are truly going to be going through and how you truly be experiencing, as well as your moon sign, which is how you will be going through this emotionally, maybe your mother, mother figures, your body, your internal, how you will be internally perceiving this and overall emotionally receiving this, emotionally experiencing this. So based off of modern Western astrology, the zodiac signs that will be feeling this the most will have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Virgo, and their sun, moon, or rising. And these degrees, and they will especially be feeling this energy if they are in between the degrees of 10 and 14. And you will especially be feeling that retrograde energy, like I said, if you have around zero to six degrees in your sun moon or rising and especially in a virgo placements having around those degrees but you're going to be experiencing some intense energy on or around the 4th of august all right so let's get into these zodiac signs starting with aries of course aries you will be experiencing this new moon in your fifth house giving you chances to experience joy, creativity, risk, risk, and fertility. This could bring you experiences where you are starting a new romance, flirting, new flirts, new people to flirt with, new connections to flirt with, new people to connect with on projects. Maybe you're, you're connecting with your children. Maybe your children are doing something joyful. Maybe your children have started new projects. Maybe your children have, have started redoing a project or you rekindle an old romance or you flirt with someone that you flirted with within in the past or you, or a risk comes up that you took in the past and you decide okay it's time to take it again or something or a risk that that has happened in the past may come up again with that dealing with that retrograde energy thinking of there's definitely with that retrograde energy there's definitely going to be moments of rethinking those day-to-day -day things especially if those day-to-day -day things pertain to how you create joy or how you create and overall um old creative projects might come up for you on this day or old ways of in which you have fun like maybe childhood like joy maybe something you did as a child um may come back up like if you played tag as a, as a child and you enjoyed that maybe you're you may have a day where your kids are like, hey, mom, let's play tag or something like that. And uh, you get that feeling, that childlike feeling of joy again and experience that on this day. All things fifth house joy related. Um, you're definitely going to be experiencing that funness, that exciting pride. Maybe there's pride around your children. Maybe your child does something that's prideful and you're very much um proud of them on this day uh and it makes you rethink um how you treat your child how you deal with your child on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can you know step up your parenting skills begin a new process of how you are raising your child maybe something happens on that day where you're just like with your children where you're like you know what i need to rethink redo renew how i do my day-to-day -day things so that i can be more joyous my child can be more joyous my child can be more creative i can be more creative i can be more fertile i can have more fun and all things around that topic
Taurus, you will be experiencing this new moon in your fourth house of having a new sense of pride in your family, in your home, or in your roots, lineage, things like that. This could look like you, this could look like a day where something prideful, something amazing happens with the family member, something new starts with a family member, something new starts within your home. Maybe you rethink an old project and you start something and it starts something new and you and you do that in, within your home or you redo that with your family this could look like redecorating your home this could look like changing things around in your home changing things around in your space changing things around in your room uh revamping yourself your um revamping your bedroom to give it a more lively look uh, being more creative in the home. You may have a sense of creative in the home. You may do something creative in the home. Um, you will definitely, uh, there could be loyalty in the home. This could be a day where you experience something out with a family member or someone who is, who's family to you and they um, show you some form of loyalty or of disloyalty and it makes you rethink your relationship with this person reassess how you view this person in your life and in your family and overall rethinking how you view your home so that you can have more pride in your home uh, or maybe a family member or a child or they they do something that's prideful do something like this loyal um they're experiencing that this could um this could also be an energy where it's not about you, but about someone in your family experiencing those Leo things. So Gemini, you will be experiencing this new moon in your third house, which is great positive energy because Gemini is at home in the third house. Uh, you will be experiencing uh, things like news, gossip, communication, social media or overall all types of medias uh things going on with your siblings your family members who are especially family members that are siblings nieces and nephews uh people who are in your local environment that feel like family cousins as well uh this could be a day of hearing news you know maybe you uh, something new you hear something new on the news or you hear some new news or you hear some new gossip uh it can be about um like i said those family members that deal with um that deal that that are pertaining to like cousins uncles nieces nephews siblings uh people in your local environment that feel like family you could be hearing news from there something new could be happening with them uh they could be beginning something new y'all could be beginning something together um, you could be taking pride in those type of people, something, a uh, situation where you have to show loyalty could be happening around those people. You could be celebrating with these people as well. Um, you could be celebrating new news that you heard or that you received. You could get an email on this day that is great and you want to celebrate about it, a phone call where you want to celebrate or um, just communicating with somebody and they tell you something and now you want to celebrate. Uh, now you want to start something new. Now you want to begin, begin something new. You could be having new interactions with social media. You could be meeting someone new from social media. If you are single, you this definitely could happen for you. Um, especially in the romance department, you could be... Uh, this is a great time if you're on one of those dating apps to get up on there and find someone new. If you are a Gemini rising. And overall, you could be traveling some um, somewhere that's like short distance, um, somewhere where you celebrate, um, somewhere that gives you pride or some place that you're loyal to. Maybe you're loyal to your barber. You could be traveling to your barber on that day to get your hair done and then you hear something um, to hear something from your barber about somebody locally on that day. Um, it it could be all those type of things. So yeah, cancers you will be experiencing this new moon in your second house of new experiences around income money banks investments your self-value and 
your possessions. So maybe this looks like you get a phone call um, from an old family member that's like, hey, I got um, grandma's old ring or I got grandma's ring. I'm giving it to you. Someone giving something to you that is of value. Someone giving from your past that's giving you a call um, and telling you something and it changes up your self-worth. This could look like um, receiving an email from a job that you applied for in the past and um them saying hey you got the job now you could be experiencing new things around um money maybe uh someone in your local environment who's from a past just dealing with that retrograde er energy um gives you some money maybe you have like an old uncle you ain't seen in a long time and they you see them and they're like hey and they give you like twenty dollars or something like that um, this could be where you, um, like I said, get a phone call from a job from the past, something from, something from that third house past life or retrograde energy is going to lead you into some form of money income. You could just be just having a money day. You could be going to work on that day. You could be going to the bank on this day and putting money into your bank and overall just rethinking, in, um, topics that are around your money, um, talking with people in your local environment about your money and money situations as well. Leos, it is your season. It is your new moon, like all at once. This is your day and you will be experiencing this new moon in your first house, of course, um, giving you experiences where you just feel brand new, where you look new, you feel new. If this is your birthday, it's going to be all eyes on you. You're going to have such a fun, such a joyous time. Uh, you're going to be able to take pride in yourself. Um, maybe money comes from the past um, at, or people from your past give you money and now you're able to revamp your look you are able to get a new outfit hairdo maybe you get a new tattoo uh something could also change in your status um as far as how people perceive you this could be all sorts of just any type of change around you uh you could be changing your name uh you can get married you could be changing like i said your look you could be changing up your mindset uh, especially with your body, changing up your body. Um, uh, and with that retrograde being in the second house, this could look like rethinking your self-value um, and it inspires you to change up your up your look and or up your body. Um, you could be inspired to do something new, like get a piercing on this day. Uh, you could be celebrating overall celebrating on this day celebrating yourself uh celebrating that you got something new got a new um new glasses uh to change up your look new earrings something that pertains to your look or yourself so good luck with that energy leo virgos you will be experiencing this new moon in your 12th house giving you experiences where giving you new experiences and astro travel and meditation and your deep inner self um maybe this could look like you have a new experience while you're meditating something comes to you while you're meditating maybe you're reflecting on you maybe ref after reflecting on yourself and how you do things, you could be experiencing something new energy. Maybe um, after reflecting on yourself, you could be experiencing new, deeper inner healing on this day. Uh, topics where things that are normally hidden, things that you normally don't talk about, they come up, they come and arise. Uh, especially um, Virgo, this is definitely going to feel like a blast from the past, deja vu with that whole... Um, retrograde energy coming up um especially if you have around like i said that zero to six degrees especially especially if it's a fourth degree you're going to be feeling those um blast from the past vibes around 
things from the subconscious, things you don't normally think about. Uh, this could look like a past life experience, especially um, having that maybe you go somewhere on that day and you're like, dang, I feel like I've been here before and you can't just put a finger on it because you've been there in a past life. You haven't been there in this life. You've been there in a past life. You just aren't uh, fully aware of it. Um, this could also look like um, things that are hidden come into the light um, to create new new atmospheres, new um, energies as well. With all that Leo romance, center of attention energy, and then a, along with the retrograde Virgo and the 12th house, um, this could be time of endings as well. If you are a Virgo rising, and you are cheating you you're going to get exposed this is <laughs> you're going to get exposed uh, and uh, those dark things are going to come to the light in your romance and it's not going to be fun um and it's going to cause you to rethink yourself rethink your relationship or review how you're being seen um or how people are seeing you now that you're single and <laughs> But yes, um, all those type of things, now that you're single. So good luck, Virgos, um, and happy retrograde season. Libras, you're going to be experiencing this new moon in your 11th house, bringing ex new experiences around your friends, your community, uh, groups that you are in, as well as your dreams and your ambitions, things that you think about or things that you are striving for. So maybe this could look like you have a new idea of something you wanna strive for, you have a new idea of a goal, you have a creative new idea on a goal, you have a creative new way of how you want to pertain a goal. Maybe you're rethinking um, so that you can come up with creative new ways to achieve your goals. This could be newness, celebrations around your friends, uh, you could be celebrating something with a friend on this day, uh, or you could be celebrating something new in your friends group. Maybe you um, clicked on or participated in an event on Facebook, and now on this day, you're uh, experiencing that event. Maybe you're having fun in a new group. Um, you're having fun in your community. This could be a day where a community event is going on and you're experiencing that um this could definitely especially i think it's going uh, the fourth of august is going to fall on sunday uh you could be going in church on this day experiencing something new in a church or or with your groups of people that you're around um those type of energies uh what else could you ex you could also be receiving new support from others, support from others from your past as well on this day. Scorpios, you're going to be experiencing this new moon in your 10th house of newness in your job, in your career, in your legacy or reputation. This could look like a day where an event happens, something new happens, and it uh, changes the way people receive or perceive you for the rest of your life. Um, this could be a day where maybe you're rethinking how you want to be perceived for the rest of your life or how you want your legacy or where you want your career to go. This could look like co-workers, um, something new happening in with your co-workers, something new happening to people that you share a career with, that you're in business with, something new happening there. Um, rethinking support, rethinking, uh, revising friends, co-workers, um, old co-workers, old people coming from the past. Um, and I say co-workers, but this could pertain to like people you just are in your career with or people you're in business with. Maybe those people come from the past and give you the support needed to help your own career, your own reputation, your own legacy, uh, and those type of things this is, uh, could be a big eventful day where um, you could have a Children's Day because children also represent um, that aspect of legacy as well. Um, just all new things around that 10th house um, area where it changes things over the long run. So good luck with that. 
Sagittarius, you will be experiencing this new moon in your ninth house, which is great because Sagittarius is right at home in ninth house. So this is going to be a great time for you guys for um, new traveling, especially long distance, cross country experiences, philosophy, higher learning. Maybe this could be a time where you're, if you, especially you're in college, you could be experiencing something new. Uh, maybe your professor says something new and makes you think, gives you creativity. Maybe you could be experiencing pride in your college. This could be a time where if you are traveling, uh, you something happens and it reshapes your legacy. This could be a time, especially if you're traveling somewhere long distance, you could have a thought like, you know what? I want to live here forever. I don't just want to just vacation here. I want to live here forever. Uh, this could be a time where you are reshaping who um reshaping your philosophy uh how you think uh maybe you're rethinking about um your legacy and uh, your reputation and it sparks up something new and creative in your faith and it expands your faith this could look like a time where especially sagittarius rising where you're rethinking how you want the world to see you and it makes you like, you know what, I'm gonna have a new spiritual awakening or you know what, I'm gonna go back to religion. This could be a time where you see those posts, you ever see those posts where, ooh, my baby, I'll see the baby, you already know what time it is. Uh, newborn, he was busting. Okay, let's get back to you, um, Sagittarius. Uh, like I said, um, a new time of expansion. You could be expanding something. Oh, oh, like what was I saying? Oh, I remember. Um, you ever see those, like I said, you ever see those posts where, uh, especially in a spiritual community, where someone's like, you know what? I am going back to religion. This is a time for of things like that. Uh, you could be experiencing new things with foreigners, um, people who you don't, uh, see on a regular day basis uh new experiences around those type of people around foreigners um or uh you could be in like the store and maybe uh it could be as small as like someone who's foreign come up to you and ask you for like directions or something or this could uh be bigger and you decide you know what? i'm gonna learn an entire new language especially if you thought about learning a new language um in the past you could definitely be um getting the urge to want to learn it again now so good luck sagittarius I already know y'all don't need it y'all already have it all so capricorns you are going to be experiencing this new moon in your eighth house giving you opportunities of new transformations around debts, others' resources, sudden situations happen, uh, especially while you are traveling or while you are learning. Um, this could look like you learning something new, uh, learning some new information, receiving some new information from the past uh, that makes you transform or makes you rethink life, transform your life. Ooh, is he asleep? No, I think he's asleep. He's sleeping now. Okay, so sudden situations could happen while you are traveling. So like maybe you're traveling and you lose something or something great could happen where someone, um, you meet a new person while uh, while you travel, especially those long distance um, matters with uh, Mercury retrograde being in your ninth house during this time. Um, Maybe an old professor might come in your life and say something and it transforms how you uh, do things, how you rethink things, um, transforms your resources. Uh, you could be transforming your debt. Something new happens with your debt. Maybe you pay off something or a time where you uh, receive new debts as well. Um, this could be a time where <clears throat> you receive sudden wealth, sudden losses. Um, so don't be scared of the eighth house. You got to really work with that deep energy because eighth house is deep, you know, on a lower frequency, the eighth house could be about manipulation, but on a higher frequency, the eighth house could be about master manifestation. So it's all about 
what frequency you're vibing out that you're putting out in the universe. So good luck, Capricorns. Aquarius says, I'm Aquarius rising myself. We or you guys will be receiving be receiving this energy in your seventh house, uh, bringing you new experiences around partners, relationships, clients, legal matters. This could look like you getting sued on this day. Uh, something new happens in only in exists in an existing legal matter. Some people will be breaking up during this time. You will definitely um, be experiencing something new in your relationship, something new with clients. Maybe you drop a client, you receive a new client. I know for myself, I have been receiving clients and I don't even do service work. I used to do um, free dream interpretations and I see now like I have people coming back to me or messaging me like, hey, I'll pay you if you uh, can do a dream interpretation for me and stuff like that that I've been um, noticing, as especially with this uh, seventh house, because you'll be feeling this in your son. So you'll be feeling this um, in your day-to-day -day life. Um, so, uh, but especially heavy up on this day. So you could, because um, you're already feeling this energy with the sun, experiencing leo season in the seventh house uh but you're really going to be experiencing that on this day so maybe you have clients that reach out to you maybe you have your partner reach out to you uh you, um, like i said um breakups endings new beginnings this could be a newness in your relationships newness maybe you and a partner could go out on a date this day People from your past relationships could be coming up to, on this day. You could be re-strengthening your bond, uh, transforming. Maybe um, you were thinking about transforming something within your relationships on this day. And now on this day, you have no choice for it, for it to come to fruition or for something new to arise. So yeah, good luck, Aquarius, fellow Aquarius rising. And lastly, but not least, Pisces, Pisces, you will be experiencing this new moon in your sixth house, bringing experiences around your day-to-day -day habits, hobbies, uh, pets, mentors, um, mental health, self-care, as well as your overall health. Maybe you get a new pet on this day, uh, something new happens with your existing pet, Someone from the past could come and suggest a new uh, routine for you, could suggest a mentor for you or a therapist for you to help you out. Um, someone from the past could be suggesting something new from your pet. Uh, this could just look like a day where you go to a new park with your pet, you know, go to a new dog park. This could also look like a day where you're absolutely transforming what you do on a day-to-day -day basis this could look like you having a new job as well this could look like a family member or a friend someone that uh you could be a partner with um giving you it, this person could be from the past or so it's dealing with that um mercury in this uh retrograde in the seventh house energy someone from the past coming up and giving you new opportunities to heal, to work on your self-work, uh, new opportunities with your pets. Someone from the past could be giving you a new pet. Better overall day-to-day -day habits or negative habits that you have. If you are a Pisces rising and you know you have like a negative habit, you can expect definitely expect a family member or someone you're in a relationship with, someone's partner to come to you and talk to you about it and have a conversation. Uh, don't be afraid of this look at it as something new so that you can begin a new better life you know you this is that wake up call that epiphany that that sign that you needed so so now that we've went over all the zodiac signs and how they will be experienced it's time to talk about rituals and what rituals are best to work with or do perform during the new moon in leo so the best rituals to perform working with that new moon and Leo energy are going to be rituals that pertain to love, strength, power. And I kind of talked about this in my um, Leo season video, um, but especially on this type, on this day, on the 4th. Love, power, passion, uh, money, uh, rituals around winning. This, uh, If you do like a 
lottery ritual this is a good time for that as well working with that um leo fifth um house energy that that naturally go hand in hand um this could be a, a time for rituals around gambling uh rituals needed for courage or leadership or achieving things um you could do a fire ritual where you write something out that you want to happen and then you burn it and then you like i said give it up to the inner and to the universe going with the flow that that uh 12th degree of Pisces, going with the flow, the mystic of manifesting. You could be doing candle work on this time. This is a great uh, time for candle work, candle magic, fire, anything that works with fire. Um, you could be doing a uh, candle work around, like I said, a gambling ritual, candles around love. Uh, if you are trying to break up a bond for, uh, between someone, this could be a good time. If you do candle work where you're trying to break up a bond between two people that you feel should not be together or it's just time for the for it to end. Or maybe um, this could be you in an addiction. Maybe you want to quit an addiction. It's time to cut and sever that off. Uh, this Leo energy could give you the strength to do that um, or the courage to do that and to achieve what you need. Uh, get what you need done. If you want to achieve a job or a goal or something, you could do candle work for achieving. Uh, this is great energy for that as well, as, as well as power too. If you want to strengthen your psychic power or the power within yourself or the power of us over a situation, this is a great time for candle magic, candle work uh, around this time. It's a great time for that. So Oh, along with uh, drinking, uh, speaking into your water. So say um, you want to feel more confident and you say you have a body, body of water, have a bottle of water that you can drink. You say right into it, I'm going to be more confident or I am confident. Don't, I'm going to be, don't do that. I'm going to be. Say, I am, take charge. I am confident. I am rich. I am going to win. I am in love or this person is in love with me speak power speak existing things that that you want to already exist right into your water to manifest this is a great time for that type of rich for those type of rituals so now that we've talked about the rituals let's get into the journaling prompt and real quick if you need a journal a specialized journal i have them down below in my amazon on my amazon store uh, the link for that will be down below. But if you already have a journal, a great journaling prompt for this time is writing out this new moon in Leo will bring me and then da da da. So I know for my seventh, uh, for me, I'm experiencing this in the seventh house. So I can write out this new moon in Leo um, will bring me or I will experience um, clients coming to me being more attracted to me um, I don't know if I want clients really honestly um, I'm <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not necessarily even though that's how the energy is playing out right now um, I'm not interested in clients uh, um, but I do have an anniversary coming up so maybe I could be writing out um, I want you to strengthen my marriage, my relationship with my husband, my relationship with the people or those who are around me and um, friends and overall, those type of seventh house things. Um, I can write that out. This is a great way of working with the universe. Right When you are telling and perceiving and are aware of how you're going to experience this, you, how you're going to be experiencing transits, it's a great time to write out what you want to experience this is how you work with the universe this is how you let the universe know this is what i want this is this is how you co-create your own life with the universe and this is in no way at all being selfish being self-centered self-centered it's that type of time um but at the same time you have the right to be self-centered especially with it being leo um energy you have the right to co-create your life with the universe and let the universe know like hey um it's time to get off autopilot this is what i want to be going on next so 
if you're trying to co-create your existence with the universe, this is a great journaling prompt for you. Another journaling prompt could be writing out how you experience this new moon. So this could obviously be written out. If you experience it on that day, you could be writing it that night, or you could be writing it um, a week to two weeks out, um, just to get a real feel of how you experience the new moon. So thank you guys for watching my videos, for coming along with me along my journal, my journey, and um, really just caring about my content. I'm so appreciative of that. Uh, this is definitely speaking out, inspiring, teaching astrology as a part of my journey. And I'm so grateful to have YouTube to be able to do that. And I'm just so grateful that you guys are attracted to that and are a part of that journey as well for me. So thank you guys. And until next time. Thank you.